everybody! So we are currently stopped at a train. Actually, it's going right now. So, um, Aaron was super sweet and let me and Declan sleep in this morning till 11.30 because <laughs> we are both sick. I'm sick and then now he is sick. So it's super sad because sometimes it's hard for him to breathe through his nose. But he hasn't been much more fussy or anything. He's actually been a really good baby, even though he's sick. So we are on our way to, what are we doing, babe? We're going to rescue our babies. <laughs> or our baby, because there's only one. Oh, okay. But Fine. we are going to rescue our future, potentially future baby. Um, we are going to our old fertility clinic, and we are going to... Um, bring that frozen embryo together with our other frozen embryos with our new fertility clinic. So yeah, with the rest of its brothers and sisters. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are doing. And it is actually about an hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes to our first fertility clinic. Um, so we have to go all the way out to our new fertility clinic, pick up the box, go to our old fertility clinic, get the embryo, and then bring it all the way back to our new fertility clinic. So, Hence we, the sustenance. <laughs> so we are making a day of it, and Aaron's choice of food in the car today was nachos. Mm, so we got delicious. I think so. Chips and salsa with some cheese all on it. So yes, that is, that's what. If that would be your ideal snack. In the car. In the car. <laughs> Comment below. Because Riley's gamble is that nobody does this. Nobody eats nachos in the car. I feel like it's probably one of the most inconvenient foods to eat in the car. Because you're just worried about dripping salsa everywhere and all that jazz. But In my opinion, it's one of the best foods. So <laughs> why not eat it anywhere? Anyway, what's your favorite food to eat in the car? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. Maybe we'll eat that next time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the device? Yeah, baby. We're ready to go. Just don't tilt it on its side, otherwise we might all freeze. Whoa. Yeah, there's actually liquid, liquid nitrogen in it, so we really can't tip it on its side. <laughs> okay. That's for reals. Got it. Did you get our baby? Yeah, I rescued it. Oh, good. So, our one son is in the back seat, and our other child is in this <laughs> container. Our embryo, <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, not the full grown thing yet. But isn't it crazy that someday he'll be able to say, yeah, I was frozen for a year once. <laughs> Not a lot of people can say that. <laughs> so we just returned our baby. Woo. Now to... it's with all the rest of its brothers and sisters. Yep. Um, at our new fertility clinic. Oh, turn those on. And we got to see Dr. Conway. And she got to see our little boy, Declan. For those of you that don't know, Dr. Conway is the one that helped us have this little miracle baby back here. So she was yes. our fertility doctor. Yes. And she gave us this cute little onesie that says miracle, miracle baby. Miracle baby. Aww. With their logo on it and everything. So. 
super cute. Super cute. But oh. it was so fun seeing her and getting to show off our baby. Mm. And Aaron got some yummy drink. Yep, some hot <laughs> apple cider. <laughs> and now I think we're going to try and meet up with my brother and go get some dinner. So keep following along. All right, guys, so just went into Subway and my card was declined. What? Right. Um, so immediately I knew that something was major wrong because um, we weren't good with finances that way. Thanks, Dave Ramsey. Um, but we, I look at my account and I see thousands in PayPal transactions that were pulled out of my account. So you guys, if you have PayPal, uh, first of all, just watch, uh, check, take a look at all your transactions for the past couple of weeks because weird stuff is happening on there. Second of all, um, I was able to call PayPal and they had only transferred into my account and hadn't yet used it from my PayPal account yet. So make sure you guys just watch your accounts and thank goodness that we were able to catch it as quick as we did to stop any of the fight or any of the, I don't even know what could have happened, but if they had actually spent the money, right? But somebody got hacked his PayPal account and transferred money from his bank account into PayPal. Right, and I never use use that PayPal account or anything like that. Um, so I don't think it was just me that was targeted. I think it was multiple people. Um, so just keep an eye out, you guys. Be safe. That really scared us. Made me real yeah. mad there for a minute. But now everything's good. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> All the money's being transferred back and you know we're closing out accounts and stuff like that that we need to but man that's scary hate this scary. day and age I know Ugh. but we are actually headed to the doctors now we weren't able to go to dinner with my brother because he was at work but um, we are going to the doctor because little Declan his nose is getting all plugged up and I just want to be safe or we just want to be safe and um, avoid the risk of getting RSV so we're just gonna take him to the doctor and get on top of it right now before it gets any worse so right. so wishes luck and we'll let we'll, you guys know yeah we'll let you guys know what he says